Warren Moon has mooned Warren and now they're warring on the moon. Warren Moon has mooned Warren and now they're warring on the moon. Warren Moon has mooned Warren and now they're warring on the moon. Ah! Who? He! Mm. Okay, we are ready. Hey, what's up? So I went to some thrift stores and I wanted to show you what I see when I'm looking at them. Uh, not just the products I'm buying, but the thought process. So what you're seeing now is me going through thrift stores and commenting on it. A double feature, baby! Let's go! When I go into a store like this, I go to the toy section first, usually. And I look for anything new in box, meaning it has the wrap on it still, just like this. Something different. I don't know what that is, but it's a game still in the packaging with the barcode. So yeah, we're gonna look it up. And, uh, no sales at all, no listings, but... That means I can dictate the price and I only have to sell one. One unit to make a profit. I wouldn't buy a hundred of these, but I would buy one. Right here, easy, easy buy. Pictionary, new in box for five bucks. What's tricky about this is that it's uh, a slightly different packaging, if I could ever look it up right. Uh, it's got this elongated box as opposed to a square box and that does matter. You wanna have the exact same image uh, in the ASIN in the listing as your product man. It's taking me forever to look this one up But that's what happens sometimes sometimes you, you just gotta keep scanning it and uh, Despite your phone breaking Eventually you can see what it is sales rank above a hundred thousand really awesome and because it isn't the current body style of box uh, the new price has inflated way up. The buy box is currently a merchant fulfilled seller at 68 bucks, but I could scoop in 75 prime and probably get the buy box. Toys, more toys. Someone was sneaky. It looks like I would guess it's an employee who works here and they wanted to put these guitars uh, in the plush box, the bin, uh, in the hopes nobody would see them. I saw them, so I'm buying that Guitar Hero guitar for sure. Um, that's the rock band, or sorry, rock hero, band hero, whatever it is. But these, these are Wii, you can tell by that little icon right there, rock band guitars. And they have them priced at $10, so I put them in my cart initially. Uh, and then because I thought they were on sale today, they were not on sale. I am not spending 10 bucks on these guitars, even though I found a few of them throughout the stores we're going to see. Um, my price on those, I would make about 15 bucks profit when I sold them at that price. But I want more money than that. You know, it isn't worth my time to prep it and whatever. Uh, in addition to that, you know, the money. Also, these Guitar Hero guitars, or I'm sorry, these Rock Band guitars, they don't break apart at the, uh, at the neck. This right here comes apart at the neck. And you can pull it apart and then wrap it around like this. I don't have any with me right here. Um, but it's an edited video, so I'm going to grab one for you. Yes, they come apart like this, and you can send them in like this. Uh, they're a lot easier to ship when they're giant like that and they don't break down shipping can be a bitch So I don't like to sell them just going through more toys now though going through the plush if it has a barcode You can sell plush toys as new if they're you know have, have the barcode and they're still in new condition This one's not but uh, but having the barcode makes it easy to look up um, Sales rank is really high as you can see in the ASIN image in the listing image. It has some markers with it uh, I don't have those, so I'm not going to sell it. But these toys right here, uh, these are Fisher Price toys. I sell these all the time. They're great on eBay too because they're kids' toys. This one, what you do to look it up is you look in the tag, and there's some numbers there. This one is CBJ76. Uh, I couldn't find it on on um on the Amazon or on Profit Bandit uh, because what happened is is I actually put the the number in wrong. It should be CB. J76, not C8 J76, and so that's kind of why I'm screwing this up. Um, but this is like just the process I go through. If I can't find an ASIN uh, on Profit Bandit, then I go to Google. If I can't find it on Google, mm, it might not exist. It does exist though. I found it. I realized after the fact I made a mistake, but I went to the page on my browser for my phone, scroll to the bottom, copy and paste the ASIN down there, and then I put that into a profit band at the app I'm using and it shows you what you have. Um, again, after the fact, I realized that I could just put the, the actual model number in there, but um, you know, it is what it is. You see bonus CD in the, in the listal titing, <laughs> in the listing title. 
Uh, that's okay, I'm not gonna have the bonus CD. It's a bonus, after all, and so uh, selling it used without that's not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, this one is interesting, though. So the Fisher-Price Laugh and Learn Nighttime Puppy. Uh, Lowish sales rank, no other sellers, though. So what I can do is I can buy this and probably sell it for 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. And again, I'll need one person to pay that to make money. I don't need to sell a thousand of them. I need to sell one. More Guitar Hero stuff. This would be the uh, the Sunburst variation of the, the Rock Band guitar. Uh, Fender Stratocaster Starburst is what that body design is called. Again, I put those all back after the fact. Usually I'll go through, put things in my cart, and then do another loop around to see if they really are worth it. Um, if it's, you know special this one said like certified by the family fun zone i don't know what it was it was like some organization that makes sure your kids don't see like murder in video games i said maybe because of that um it's worth something it wasn't so i put it back calculator right here uh it wasn't listed but usually at this place i'm paying a dollar for calculators like that and i'll make probably like six bucks off of it it'll sell you know immediately so i'm buying it for that reason Going through the purses, kind of, the clothes, this kind of stuff. I don't sell a lot of non-FBA things, um, but if it's like easy money, like a really awesome name brand or a really rare jersey or, or something like that, uh, I'll give it a look. This one right here on the back, it's got a barcode. So if it's got a barcode and it's new, I'm going to be looking it up. That's one of the ways I sell all this crazy stuff is just by looking up everything. You see this clock right here. This clock, if it wasn't just like a little tiny clock that you would pay 90 cents for in a larger case, and if the case wasn't totally beat up, I may have considered it, but it was just, that's just a cheap Amazon, you know, $12 clock probably. Blank media is always good. That little tiny spindle of DVDs is going to go for probably, I don't know, 12 bucks. Um, it's good. It's good. It's going to, you know, sorry, 12 bucks profit. It'll go for probably $20 is what it'll sell for. Even though the retail price is like $6, Amazon, because of the way the market works, you can sell things for more. Again, looking up hard goods like this, it has to be like Toomey or like um, Dooney and Burke or one of those brands for me to like to buy it because I'm not doing that. Okay, next thrift store, it's the Salvation Army. I'm just going to two today, not a lot. Uh, I wanted more just to show you what I do. Now we're in the, uh, we would be in the electronic section of this Salvation Army. Up here are a lot of DVD players. I'm not really buying any of those. If they were the smaller version like that, and they were Sony, and they had an HDMI port, I would have looked at them, because that's like in the $70 range. But everything else that you're seeing, except for this DVD VCR combo right there for 20 bucks, is, um, is not really that good. Uh, at 20 bucks, I think I'm making like between 60 and 80 dollars profit when that thing sells. Uh, and then this this VCR right here too. This DVD combo machine right here, uh, I could not find on Amazon. It's like a part of a surround sound system. It's a component of a larger ASIN that I, I don't know where the rest of it is. So yeah, we're just gonna leave it on the rack and not and not buy it. Here's the Sylvania uh, double double uh, DVD VCR combo DVC eight six five be the model number. I would sell it for probably. Well, we'll see. The buy cost is about twenty bucks, and then the sell cost. I think I could sell it for one uh, twenty five, one thirty five, uh, because the lowest non prime price is ninety bucks, and with prime you can go above that. That all sport cooler right there. Uh, I thought maybe it's worth some money. You know, if you look at it, it's um, it looks cool. It's vintage. This kind of stuff is in. It's like from the 90s. But uh, when I looked it up, yeah, they're selling for 60 bucks. But have any actually sold? No, none had sold. Over to the kitchen section, this KitchenAid toaster. Mm, worth, you know, I could probably sell it for a profit, but not, not very much money at all. If it was like Viking brand. I would have bought it for sure because Viking brand toasters go for a lot of money or a brand like that, but uh, not really anything worth looking for here today. Going over to clocks, I look for Sony brand clocks like we have right here. Sony Sapphire C, you know, ICF C18, I think, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. That actual clock, there's no listing on Amazon for it. They have the yellow one, but not the Sapphire one. Um, and so I have to sell that on Amazon.Canada 
or try to create a new listing for it with the color variation. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've sold them before in Canada, but uh, you pay a huge tax when you do that kind of stuff. So I'll probably just try to ship it uh, or try to sell it in the United States. These phones down here, phone sets. Phones are, are not the fastest sellers, but when they do sell, they're gonna sell for a lot of money. Any, any brands you're familiar with are good. There's not like, Emerson is a brand you wanna stay away from. Mitsubishi is a brand probably you're gonna to wanna to stay away from. Uh, any of those like knockoff brands or, or less desirable brands, when you go to the store and you see, okay, we can get a Sony TV for a thousand bucks or a Emerson TV for 400 bucks, don't buy those cheapo brands. Video games, I always check the video games. I found this one right here, I found a Mario Party game, which is pretty cool. You're not always gonna find Mario Party 8, uh, you know, for Wii, which is like worth 25 bucks profit or whatever. I paid like two or three bucks for this game. Uh, what I do when I go to a thrift store, you're gonna see all the games on the stack, you know, just like lined up row by row. Those are probably not worth any money. Those have been picked through a thousand times by a thousand people. But when you see the games on top of the stack, you can kind of assume that those have been there, uh, that those are more recently put there. The same thing, like when I go through a bookstore and I'm scanning books, I make sure that uh, I leave the very top shelf empty and then I leave, I, I fill in the bottom shelves because one, I'm tall. And so if I can give myself an advantage by having the new books be replaced up high, that's awesome. But also as like a mental, you know, tracking device, I can figure out like, hey, I've already been here. Or I was here two weeks ago and there's no fresh inventory. I'm not gonna waste my time doing this. And that's not always gonna work because of course they're gonna change around their own inventory but it's a good rule of thumb to have. And the same with video games too. So the whole bottom stack of games I didn't scan, but I scanned the ones on top and one of those was Mario Party 8, you know, so money, right? This, this clothing brand right here, Vineyard Vines, I show this because a year ago, that would have been like the kind of thing that I totally bought because I know, oh, I'm gonna sell it for 30 bucks in a second on eBay. But the way clothing brands popularity changes and how fast it is, has almost completely turned me off to like any new new clothing brands. I'll still buy old stuff like old Tommy Hilfiger, old jerseys, that kind of stuff because I know the market is not changing as fast. But what I found out after I filmed this is that Target just did a big collaboration with this brand. And so on a eBay, the value, not to say that that was the catalyst for it going down, but uh, over the past six months or so, the market has been becoming saturated with used Vineyard Vine clothing. Um, I was told, obviously, I'm not like the eBay clothing master, but that's kind of why I say find a niche, man, and stick to it. And maybe your niche is electronics, but just don't go into a thrift store and try and make money off of everything. I used to be like that. That's how you get a warehouse like this, full of shit. 10% of my inventory was making me 90% of the money. And so that 90% that was just trickling in a dollar per sale or whatever, or because you know I would lose it or I would come back home and see it has holes in it, that's why I don't sell clothes anymore. Or at least I don't look for clothes to buy. If I see a great deal, I'm gonna buy it, right? But like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to uh, research clothing or any of that stuff, not because it's a bad business, but because I am only a man. <laughs> I have 24 hours in the day and there, it just doesn't doesn't work out. You know, the timing doesn't work out. Hey guys, that was the video. Thank you so much. Comment below with your favorite part of it, what you want to see next time. And as always, don't be a shithead. What's up guys, it's Reverend Conflict with Flip the World. Here's your quick tip of the day. Shipping supplies. Find these green recycle bins behind any kind of store and you're gonna find three boxes in all different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they put packing material as well. It's estimated between 50 cents and $2 for a box at the store. If you do the math on that, you're looking at probably 600 to $1,000 you're spending a year just on packing supplies. Check your dumpsters, check your neighborhoods. Don't waste money, get it.